The Indonesian Ministry of Defense recently ordered a first prototype of the so-called X-18 tank boat, which is being designed since 2011 by a consortium composed of PT Pindad, North Sea Boats, and Belgian turret maker John Cockrell. The consortium will provide the light variant of the boat equipped with the CPWS Gen 2 remotely controlled turret. Dubbed APC-60, this variant will be able to accommodate up to 60 soldiers. The X-18 has a maximum speed up to 40 knots for an operational range up to 600 nautical miles. Its composite twin hull has excellent sea-keeping properties, giving the boat the ability to execute beach and river landing and insert or extract marine squads. North Sea Boats should launch the tank boat prototype by the end of the year, along with a trimaran prototype based on the X-3K design already built and launched in August 2012, but destroyed in a fire. Both vessels are being built at the shipyard in East Java, Indonesia. local media, a letter of intent was sent in early June by the Greek Defense Procurement Agency to the French government in connection with the procurement of two Belhara frigates from Naval Group for the Hellenic Navy. The Hellenic Navy has been looking to procure new surface combatants primarily for anti-air warfare missions for about 10 years now. Greece has been facing headwinds with this plan due to the financial constraints. The letter of intent is confirming the interest from Greece for the frigates and allows the French side to look for financing from financial institutions for the procurement plan. Construction of the first FDI, Defense and Intervention Frigate, for the French Navy is set to begin this year, with steel cutting expected to take place in mid-October at Naval Group's shipyard in Lorient. Maritime Self-Defense Force JS Maya Aegis Destroyer left Yokohama on June 12 for its initial sea trials. Launched on July 30th from the Japan Maritime United Shipyard in Yokohama, Maya is the first of a new class of improved destroyers with ballistic missile defense capabilities. Each unit costs around $1.5 billion. Maya is expected to be commissioned by the JMSDF in 2020. The yet-to-be-named second ship of the Maya class is scheduled for launch this year and commissioning is set for 2021. The new destroyer class is 170 meters long and displaces 8,200 tons. She will be manned by a crew of 310 sailors. Fitted with the Aegis Baseline J7 combat system, the Maya-class destroyers will be able to fire the latest version of Raytheon's SM-3 ballistic defense missile, known as Block 2A. ceremony of the multi-purpose offshore patrol ship Palo Teon de Revel took place on June 15th at Ficanteri shipyard in La Spezia. Also known as PPA, this vessel is the first of seven units. It will be delivered in 2021 to the Italian Navy. The PPA is a highly flexible ship with the capacity to serve multiple functions ranging from patrol with sea rescue capacity to civil protection operations and, in its most highly equipped version, first-line fighting vessel. The design is 132.5 meters long, displaces around 5,000 tons, 
and will come in three different configurations. The first ship of the class is known as PPA Light. Navy released a request for proposals for the guided missile frigate FFGX detailed design and construction contract for the first 10 of 20 ships on June 20th. As Lockheed Martin recently pulled out of the competition, the four remaining FFGX contenders are Austal, with the Austal frigate based on the Independence class littoral combat ship. Vicentieri Marine Group with the Frem Multi Mission Frigate. Huntington Ingalls Industries with an unknown design. General Dynamics Bath Ironworks with the F 100 Frigate.